everyone. Welcome to another Book Review Wednesday, and today I'll be briefly diving into a fairly old book that I received recently, and it is titled Cloudine, or as it's also titled, Humility, uh, the Basis of All Virtues. Um, and basically it is about a girl named Cloudine who lives in Switzerland uh, within the 1800s, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and it was actually written by a mother uh, named Maria E. Bud Budden, and it was later translated by John Harris into English. Um, now, the interesting thing, at least, about this book is not only the fact that it is fairly old, but uh, it also uh, brings up a lot of interesting things that I think are sort of relevant to, in particular, Switzerland. Um, so, when it comes to Cloud9 specifically, um, she sort of lives, I guess, in the more rural kind of Swiss area, um, and her family is not necessarily the most well-off, um, but uh, basically her dad is a pastor, and uh, she sort of... Um, goes sort of throughout various events within her life, including trials and tribulations as well as certain points of happiness. Um, and she also exhibits a certain amount of qualities to her that are fairly likable. And uh, that's basically really the entire sort of premise really behind the story. Um, it's not so much of a plot as it is so much uh, looking at the characters and also kind of giving a sort of cultural context as far as the Swiss are concerned. And it comes off as fairly interesting and it's nice to see them touch on certain things, especially within the beginning about like the landscape and, um, you know, how, how these certain events uh, that end up uh, sort of happening end up sort of playing a role uh, with the family and, uh, it's uh, something that I think is uh, definitely worthy of recommendation, and it's sort of, again, it has that sort of humbling factor in that uh, the family that it focus on, focuses on, in particular Cloudine's family, are not necessarily the most well-off people, but they're fairly generous and um, at the same time face uh, struggles of their own. And uh, it's nice to see these kinds of books being ultimately presented here. Um, I think uh, there haven't been a huge amount, uh, at least, of literature that is focused on Switzerland, at least historically, uh, when you look at a lot of uh, famous works. And uh, it's nice to sort of see it presented here. Uh, I would say if you're interested in this kind of older style of books, then this will be something that you can enjoy. It is really not that long. Uh, it didn't take me a significant amount of time to go through it. But I think it is still interesting and provides some uh, good historical kind of context as well as a cultural context. Uh, and you sort of see these sort of average everyday uh, life that these people were sort of living. And it's sort of nice to see that more down to earth uh, approach uh, that you don't really see too often with these kinds of stories. Um, that are, again, d designed sometimes to be a little bit more elaborative, but here it's fairly stripped down. But I think that's ultimately all I can say, though, about this particular book. But if there are any questions, comments, concerns, I'd be more than happy to answer them. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a pleasant day, week, month, and year, and I hope to see you all in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.